Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So today is very befitting that we are out here in the park today because there are no children playing at the playground today. However, it's very befitting because I want to talk to you guys about when is the perfect time or a good time to introduce your children or your child to your new girlfriend or new boyfriend. So stay tuned. All right, family, so thank you so much for coming on back again. When is it a good time to introduce your child or children to your girlfriend or boyfriend, the new one that has not met them, or to a potential? How about that? A potential. Somebody that you actually have not discussed or actually taken the title from, but things are seemingly moving in that direction. I want to answer that today. Of course, I have several tips for you guys, but the very first one that I want to give you is to make sure that you have, at the very least told your potential girlfriend boyfriend or your boyfriend girlfriend about you having children there have been so many people out here who don't mention their children for whatever reasons they have been on multiple dates with a potential person and they have not mentioned their children I, I told you guys a long time ago but if you are new here let me just share the story with you as well I actually stopped dating a guy for this very reason he had multiple children unbeknownst to me but at the at, but anyway he actually only told me about two he actually had six and it really turned me off that he healed he had his children because number one i was thinking um why are you hiding your children number one number two if we went that route and we happen to like us slip ups do happen or if we made it into a relationship like a deep relationship not a just now boyfriend and girlfriend relationship would you hide my child as well like i took offense for the moms because he had like i said he had well i said he had six kids but he had multiple baby mamas as well but even with that being said I don't care how many kids that you have if you are for me and I'm for you then guess what I have to take your baggage as well and um, that's a full package deal when I look at it uh, kids can be baggage yes they can so don't come for me on that I mean you can but uh, that's the way I feel kids can be baggage but not necessarily in a bad sense it's just not a just you thing is what I mean by that in that sense but anyway and then also the third thing I was thinking was were you ashamed of your children were you were you ashamed of the guy that you were before we met and now you're trying to change like just open up and share this stuff with me but anyway we never made it to that point and I want to wrap that story up because it didn't work out but that was a reason why I did not stay with the guy I did not pursue the relationship any further because when I found out that he was hiding his children I personally took offense to that and I would not be okay if we had a child and he was hiding my child i.e. our child I wouldn't be cool with that so make sure that you have at least an idea if the person wants children or if they even like children you know sometimes we hear these stories on how um like I, I seen a video recently I want to say that it was in China Japan um, one of the Asian countries I'm sorry about that I don't remember but basically this mom the, the boyfriend did not want the son who was old enough to remember his mom um, didn't say how old he was but I'm saying he was at least five seven eight somewhere around there and she was actually about to leave him out on the street literally out on the street from the car because the guy did not like or want her son and I'm like are you serious man you could die a slow death if you don't want my child you could die a slow death that's the way I'm serious that was the way I feel about it like you cannot get me and then get me to get rid of my child because you your ugly self don't want them like you can't get me to stay with you anyway I'm gonna move on because I'm getting angry by that but uh yeah so that's the first tip at least let them know that you have a child and on top of that you want to get at least an idea if they like children if they love children if they want children again it doesn't have to be like a a hard conversation but you definitely want to hear what their reaction is when you mention the child or children and you know what they kind of feel about children period 
because you just don't want to just bring anybody into your life and then subject your child to some some type of abuse when it's because of your choice that's what i'm trying to say you don't want to subject subject your children or child to some type of abuse or neglect all because you want to keep this girl all because you want to keep this guy in your life no sir no ma'am you have to be the protector of your child and if that means getting rid of that sucker then get rid of that sucker okay the second thing that I really want to point out is that you have to make sure that you guys are really close or actually in a committed relationship again boyfriend girlfriend or really close to it becoming that way and um, you, you'll know by paying attention to the signs, you know, is, is he actually, I'm saying he, right, because I'm, I'm a woman, so I'm going to go off the guy. But it, this can absolutely happen for the woman as well. Is, is he calling me back? Is he texting me back? Are we going out on dates? Like, really, is he putting in the time, energy, and effort for me and for something to build from us hanging out together and having tons of conversations the whole getting to know we're not just getting together to have sex we're not actually um friends with benefits we're not just oh let me go off and do what i do oh and then a few months later i can call this person back and then we can have sex obviously those are not the type of relationships that i'm talking about absolutely not i'm talking about the ones where you're really 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 close to getting the title or you actually already had the title of girlfriend and boyfriend so make sure that it's really close to a commitment or you are actually in a committed relationship another tip that i want to give you is to make it easy on your child or, ch or children when you introduce this new person and what i mean by that is don't just introduce them the very first time they're hearing about this person the very first time they're meeting this person the very first time they even heard this person's name you are actually they are actually in the child's face and you're like hey billy this is mike and he's my boyfriend like that shit that's gonna be a very awkward thing and especially kids can be very territorial with their parents and you don't want to put them in a situation where they feel like their space is being violated because you decided to just bring them in you have to kind of ease kids into situations like that so the best thing that you could do is just bring said guy said girl around some type of a um, gathering or something just so it's a, like in a group setting so the child doesn't feel like obligated or feel like um, this person is impingent on his space or his territory from the parent so give your child a chance to actually be around this person i would say at least up to three times one you know one two three times that they're in the child space the child is actually used to them and then of course soon after you can definitely let your child know that this is girlfriend boyfriend um and 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 in those early times as well you want to minimize the affection that you have for the girl for the new girlfriend and the new boyfriend just again just around the child because you want to get the child um acclimated to hearing the person's name to seeing the person being around and if, and of course interacting with the person as well all right all right the very last thing that i want to mention is that i read a book or a quote or an article or something i can't remember where exactly where i got it from but experts are actually saying that you should wait for like a, up to a six month period now I know why they're saying it and I'll explain that in a minute I just don't hundred percent agree with it but I did want to bring it here obviously you take the meat that you need to take from any and all the what I said apply it and then throw away the rest that's basically what you have to do with anything in life so anything that you do not agree with what I'm saying just move on with life it's not that big of a deal or you can ask me some questions about it and I'll be happy to explain my point of view Go ahead and do that in the comment section below. But anyway, what the expert was saying is that the reasoning why um, is because you don't want your child to get all invested in this new person and then they have disappeared. So you want to get some investment with the person being around and in, in your life, not the child's life, in your life and then bring the child in. So I get what they're saying. I just don't 100% agree with that. And here's why I don't 100% agree with that because children, they have a sixth sense and this is the way that I'm going to explain it. They have a sixth sense in the way that they feel about other adults when it comes to you. So if your child has this 
horrible temper tantrum every time this person comes around you might want to take heed to what the child is actually like the signal that they bring it out to you like for instance my daughter she is my daughter is 21 months all right and she is super social just like our mama and i've only seen her pull away from two people in her short life and those two people did not get access to my baby because I really feel that it's something about our babies. They can tell when a person is bad or they can sense something in a person that they are bad before we can. I think after a while we kind of lose that sense, but they are so in tune with people and so the two people that she pulled away from i did not let them touch my baby and everything and my baby is super social when i say she, you could be a super stranger she don't care about the color she's like hey and and you know she's doing the whole uh -huh, like pick me up type of thing and you know most of the time i just let her go on ahead but sometimes that she like mm, which again i only seen it twice but she like mm, uh, i'm i move on with life so if your child is doing something like that obviously your baby might not be a toddler but I'm what I'm saying is pay attention that the way your child or children are reacting to this new person that you bring around because it's something about them now obviously I'm not saying go wholeheartedly on what the child is saying right because some children don't want you to be in a relationship either right but for my baby who's 21 months yeah, I'm paying attention to what she's saying because she, I just know my baby. She's super, super, super friendly to any and everybody. Does not matter with her, really. <laughs> like, I have to pay attention. She's really, like, I'm going to have to pay attention to her because basically she'll walk up to anybody. And I don't want nobody to take my baby like I, some of y'all old, some of y'all new subscribers, and I'm feeling all of y'all. However, um, I don't want nobody to take my baby. And it took me 38 years to get pregnant with this baby. So, guess what? Ain't nobody taking my baby that easily. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent, but I'm just saying no, 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 ma'am, no, sir. So I got to watch my baby because she's too friendly. But anyway, those are the tips that I have for you when to introduce your child or children to your new girlfriend or boyfriend or your very, very close potential boyfriend or girlfriend. Definitely let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Did these tips help you out? Were you on the fence thinking about any of these things? And now you're actually going to go ahead and introduce your child or children to the new boo. And um, yeah, just go ahead and let me know. Of course, like this video if you liked it, if you loved it. Definitely share it with everybody that you know who needs to hear it. And of course, if this is your very first time here to I Love Me Me Me, definitely go ahead and think about and actually hit the red subscribe button or the icon with my lovely face on there because here at I Love Me Me Me, I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, fulfilled, romantic relationships. If that is something that you need in your life, then definitely hit the red subscribe button. I will see you again in a future video. Deuces.